again on as the captain on one side, Kenneth and Miro, captain on the other side. And the, the game of football was played. <laughs> More of a kick about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, they tried to organize, according to what we read, the yeah. match agent tried to organize friendlies with uh, some English uh, sides. Um, Linton Orient was um, bandied, uh, West Ham, Tottenham, you know, but, um, you know, the, 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 uh, they, they were all footers. So the, the team, the, the Eagles had to be divided into two, um, in two teams and they played themselves around 5 p.m. Uh, today. So it the end of round one. Um, I, I think um, we have to look at it from a positive point of view. Um, some players like we learned, like Olaino, hmm. who's in Chelsea, right back, who Ro has been, um, uh, you know, look that position he has been looking at, and a couple of players. Even I saw Chubak Bum in Eagles jersey um, a while ago before we came on air. Uh, I think it has given the coach an opportunity to see some of these players in training. Yes, some of them didn't play against Senegal, and he would have wished that um, he will see them in a match situation against mm. uh, the Stallions of Burkina Faso. But that bonding alone is also invaluable. Um, some of the players were together in camp and uh, he has seen them, he has spoken with them. Uh, he, he just has, he, he has to find a way, Austin, mm. of um, preparing this team. Yes, it has happened. We can not continue to cry over the spilt make. The most important thing is that um, this team qualifies for the Nations Cup. I can't describe how it will be it, if we don't qualify for the Nations Cup, especially, you know, at this moment, I starts from June, hmm. so he, he, he has to do something. Hmm. Oh, so to Toby, it doesn't really look good, um, is it a wasted FIFA window? No, no, not really, not really, we got, we got to play Senegal, hmm. imagine if, if um, the Federation and, and, and the team had planned for a game, hmm. you know, it, we won't say it's a wasted FIFA window, but the most important thing is you, you got players to train. Uh, for like six, seven days, and mm. there was a lot of bonding. There, That's was, right. there was fresh players, mm. there was pressure in the team, and there was a bit of competition. Talk about Ahino plays on the right back, mm. Tofago up, he mm. situation in this position. So, uh, you see them in training. Sometimes mm. it's also good to see them in, in mass situation, which re reason why most of these playing games are very key. But, mm. I mean, you get to play against Senegal, which is, which is very key also. Very, we got very. tested well, I mm -hmm. mean, our strength, our weakness, we well push and expose, and, you know, I think Ryan's got a lot of things to work, mm. you know, with the team in the future. So, when if qualifier comes in, we just open most of these players can arrive quickly. They bond well. They continue this bonding, you know, before the game. So, I mean, it, it's not a waste of time. We've got to play Senegal. again. I think it's positive enough. Positive enough. But that's not only the issue uh, coming out of the camp of the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Ahmed Musa um, asked for permission to leave camp. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm saying first, when well, Ahmed Musa refused the captaincy, and now Ahmed Musa is saying, I want to leave that. He needs to attend to personal issues. Um, He's back in Lagos. I don't know when he's going back to England. But what do you make out of all of this? Uh, Austin, I, I think we, we have to be very, very careful with the way we handle some internal matters. I mean, um, the, the federation and the coaches, you know, um, so that you don't send the, right, the wrong signals, mm. so that you don't dampen the morale. Um, for Ahmed Musa, uh, he's a player that we have to commend because of immaturity. You know, the last time when Sunday Olise was a coach, he made him the captain. Um, subsequently, the, he, he was prevailed upon, you know, to see it to uh, make a and he didn't make any feels out of it. Uh, so, so for, for for me, I, I think he should be shown enough respect. You know, uh, probably the way it was handled was not, um, you know, uh, very tidy enough. But um, the issue of captaincy should, you know, be somehow be democratic. Mm -hmm. Even if the, the coach is going to pick somebody, <coughs> you can go around the players, sound them out, and eventually. You, you, you arrive at a, a, a candidate, but um, I, I really, I, I feel sorry for um, Ahmed Musa. Mm. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know the situation, the circumstances that led to him being stripped of uh, the, the captain's yeah. uh, because in the absence of uh, Mikel Obi, mm -hmm. uh, one would have expected that he yeah. be handed the, the, the band. For the game against Senegal. For the game against Senegal. These things have a way of, um, you know, sending the wrong signal, dampening the morale, and, uh, you know, some players are going to be sympathetic to him. Um, that could also affect team unity. But... We, we have to move on. We, we, we can't dwell on that for a long time. Perhaps when we come ac across Ahmed Musa, we'll ask him some of these uh, right. questions and that's right. you know, issues will be clarified. That's right. That's what we do right here. We'll try to clarify issues. So we'll continue to uh, try to establish connection with the Super Eagles team. Hopefully, i uh, get to in to to talk to us tonight on the program. But let's get on with the show now. Talk about March Day 15 of the Nigeria Professional Football League. Who's been working with us on this journey? Plot 2 United, they started so well. MFM at some point knocked them off the top of the table and then now they are back. Plateau United, only they didn't just come back, they won convincingly. Yeah, um, they, they totally decimated ABS. Um, 
though uh, ABS officials have been climbing uh, uh, Blue Mother, but you know sometimes, you know even in the top leagues, they, 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 you, you can't have a match without complaints. For one. A decent, wow. a massive result for mm. Plate United at the Rampart Stadium, and that has, you know, taken them back to the number one position. They have displaced um, the team that was there before MFM, and it's looking good for Kennedy Boboye. That's right, that's right. So that's the confirmation of March the 15th um, in the Nigeria Professional Football League. Plate United uh, destroyed, demolished um, ABS by four goals to one. Katsina United beats. Enugu Rangers. The struggle continues for Coach Imama and his team. They lost by a single goal. Aimba uh, defeated Rivers United also by one goal to by a goal to nothing, which also leaves Coach Stanley Aguma and his Rivers United team in some push them deeper into that troubling water that they've been swimming. Remo Stars and Wiki Tories. Remo Stars won that game by two goals to one, but troubling stories coming out of uh, Remo Stars. We don't like it. Our journalists are being assaulted, and um, that's really not good for our football because journalists come out there to try to take words of the league out there so that we get to know our football follow our football and then fans 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 again that's what we're saying we want to come to the stadium and we don't have any form of violence they assaulted um a sports journalist kelvin the of sportsville and that's not a good one for our football we don't want it gumbi united and mfm what a story gumbi united um went on to win uh, by a single goal aqua united and fc frank but aqua united was the only team that refused to win at home yep. uh from march the 15th of the nigeria professional football league good um, point for if i the first point on the road for if mm. you know very good one for them <laughs> now so United beat shooting stars 1-0. Niger Tornadoes and Sunshine Stars. Only what a story. This game. Drama, drama. <laughs> drama. All the way. And Sunshine Stars have been, the, the coaches have been given two match ultimatum. <laughs> Coach Kyle, they Olojo, Olojo, they been two match ultimatum. <laughs> that, 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 that if they don't win, that fresh hands will be, I read, I read the statement, oh my fresh goodness. hands will be, so, so, will be employed. The ultimatum is the latest one in the Okay, and El Kademi, <laughs> and El Kademi defeated Lobby Stars by a single goal so Next that's minutes go i know uh, so um drama from march the 15th of the nigeria professional football and these guys are itching to talk about it. i'm sure you are also ready to talk about it but we will do so we'll come back from this break don't go anywhere stay